Hello, this is Chris from COPSP People, show it, uh, doing a tutorial on how to install custom firmware on your PSP 1000 FAT. I don't know if this will work for any others, but this is the one which I've got, so, and this is the first time I'm doing it, so it may go wrong. So, yeah. Uh, first, I've got the instructions down here, by the way. Uh, insert the memory card into the PSP. That's my me magic memory stick. And that's my Pandora battery. You will need them. I got mine off Amazon and I'll put the link in the description. Right. Hold down the uh, plug. My charger in. Hold down the left trigger and insert the Pandora battery into the back. Yeah, I'm now holding it down. Put that into the back. Right. Don't know if you can see it now, but. Uh, I just took that off and put it back on so then you could see what it says. Right. When it comes onto this, you let go of the left trigger, by the way. Uh, select and install the top one. Nearly done. Shut down. Right, press X to reboot, as it says. Oh, shut down. I just press circle. Just doing it now. And I'll switch it on. Why am I holding it like this? Now it's got a lot of things on. Uh, I wonder if you can take it out now. Yeah, I'll just see what this is on the instructions. Turn it off. Take the magic memory card out. I'm hopefully updating it now. Put my own back in. Turn it on. Make it easy. 
easy we all can see. Right, let's change it so it's a blue now. Uh, go on to that. Go on to your PSP oh no, memory stick. Do that. I think it is. Press X to install. Oh, yeah. I've been playing Xbox, so I've been pressing square. Oh. Right. Starting in. Yeah, hopefully now. And help fill system settings. Oh, you can format your memory stick now and put like games and stuff on, but I've already got one. Is it? Yeah, that's a one gig and two or three, four gigabyte ones. That's right, system information. There's the uh, custom firmware thing. So yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Uh.